I'm here with Matthew Carter from the Vertical Life Africa Project. They're traveling from Cape to Cairo to drop off 200,000 life straws to cholera affected areas. My primary focus or my primary concern was just the fact that kids are dying every single day. Like you've seen the stats and you know about like over 5,000 kids dying in Africa alone. There's so many people that are just going to bed, they, they, they wake up and they're not sure are they going to make it or not. Um, there's school days being lost. Kids can't go to school just because they're sick, too sick to go to school. The life straw was developed by Swiss relief product manufacturer Vestergaard Franzen and can remove more than 98% of waterborne viruses. We, we look at individuals who are, are vulnerable, so kids, elderly, women who are pregnant, who just can't walk the estimated 5 k's a day to go get drinking water and then it might not be safe. So we're focusing on those groups primarily. Distribution of the straws will mainly be to rural areas and will be accompanied by a three-day educational program on how to prevent and treat waterborne diseases. It, it starts off in the front with uh, two microfilters, starts off at 100 microns then goes down to 15 microns. 100 microns is about the same thickness as your hair, then 15 microns will start to filter out clusters of uh, bacteria. Um, then it goes through iodine beads, which kills off a lot of viruses, it kills off uh, some, some of the bacteria as well. Then it goes to the activated charcoal. Now a lot of people know that if you're allergic to shellfish or anything like that, you're also allergic to iodine, which is a problem. So the activated charcoal will remove the iodine, as well as it will make the water taste better. Um, a lot of the things that we've seen, a lot of chemicals, etc., don't actually improve the taste of the water, which isn't great. So we also try to improve the taste of the water. It requires no batteries, no electricity, uh, none of that. And it's quite tough and almost unbreakable, which is perfect for Africa.